Hello again. Yes, we completely dropped from my sketchy internet. Welcome back again. We'll start all over. Welcome to Friday. It's Facebook Friday where we don't know if the internet's going to work or not. Um, it is Friday, March 1st. So those of you watching in the replay, thank you. Those of you who are finding me again, thank you. Hello again. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad you guys are finding me. You knew I was having internet issues and so it froze. So I just said, you know what? We're stopping. We're choosing a different internet and we're going again. <laughs> Hi, Trisha. I'm glad you found me. This is ridiculous. It is 2019. We should have reliable internet, right? I mean, come on. Okay, shall we start again? Shall we start all over again? Pretend like we haven't seen each other today. <laughs> thank you for sharing again. That is so funny. You guys, thank you. Who is that? It, it scrolls so fast on my phone. Darcy, thank you for sharing. Carol, thank you. Whew, okay, let's try it again. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Erica here from Pink Buckaroo. March 1st, whole new fun stuff from Stampin' Up. I don't know when it cut out, but so I'm going to tell you again. Whoops. Celebration coordination. <laughs> I showed you these products in detail on Tuesday. All new products that coordinate with our celebration items. They're not free. They cost money. They You buy them. But when you buy them, you earn more free stuff. See how that works? So Stampin' Up's giving us really great framelits to go with our wonderful stamp sets that we may have already earned for free, as well as a stamp set that coordinates with those those um, stamp sets and this awesome story label punch. Yes, I'm back. I'm back, guys. I'm glad you found me. Um, so you will find that if you go to stampinup.com, you will find it right in the front, okay? And I'm also gonna link it here when the video's done if we can stay live. <laughs> okay, so then we woke up this morning to eight brand new celebration items. That means eight free items, eight more free items. Remember back in the middle of February, we got three new free items? Well, now we have eight more free things we can choose from. Um, so here's the flyer. I know it's backwards, you don't have to tell me. Um, look, do you recognize these things? They are from the annual catalog, most of them. This one right here in particular is really interesting. That's the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper that has been free all along, well, since the 15th, as a bundle, and it's a level two. Well, maybe you've got, gotten that bundle like me and you need more paper, but you don't need a second stamp set. Well, now you can get another set of paper free with a $50 purchase. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna use these for some of my club projects in March and I need another pack of that paper. Um, another thing that I love are the pizza boxes. You can get pizza boxes for free. These two things, you actually get two of. So if you pick the doilies, you get two packs. If you pick the ribbon, you get two bolts of ribbon. Awesome, right? The, there's an embellishment kit, there's some DSP, some laser cut paper, and another embossing folder. These are all from the annual catalog, so they're not brand new, but they're free, which we like, right? Okay, so you've got new free items to pick from, a lot, along with all the other items that we've had for a while. You know, we've talked about them a thousand times. Hi, Vicki, thanks for finding me. Um, there are several things in here that are no longer available. Let me remind you, the foil paper is sold out, the um, butterfly elements sold out, the parcel kit sold out, and the ribbon is not available. We have used, not used, purchased, picked, is that the word? We've picked the ribbon so much that we've depleted the inventory, and I think we're getting more, but we don't know for sure. But you can't pick it right now. So we've got eight more things that you can pick from, which are great. Okay, I'm rushing through now because I've, I'm I'm late now. I don't like being late. Have you guys heard about Paper Pumpkin this coming month? March is Paper Pumpkin's birthday. And in March, they always give us something special. So in March, you're getting two stamp sets in this box. 20 bucks a month, and you get a whole project kit. And it always includes a stamp set and ink. Well, this month, it's, in, it's going to include two stamp sets. There are two ways you can get Paper Pumpkin. You can subscribe and get it month to month where you pay $20 a month. Or, and by the way, you guys, you can cancel that anytime. If that, you know, you feel like you need to cancel it, you can cancel it. There's no penalty to cancel and no time commitment. The other way, which is the way I would recommend doing it right now, is to purchase it as a, um, I've lost the, the word, a, um, 
you, you buy the subscription as a bundle. You can buy three months, six months, or 12 months. Because when you do that, you get celebration items. If you just subscribe month to month, you're not gonna get celebration items. But this month, if you buy a prepaid subscription, that's the word that I couldn't think of, you, you get free celebration items. Hello, why wouldn't you? If you buy the 12 month subscription, you're gonna get four celebration items. That's a lot. So you need to sign up. Um, and if you buy that prepaid subscription, guys, by the way, you get an email to activate your subscription. So if you want it this month, you have to buy it and then uh, activate it because they won't start your subscription until you tell them to, okay? So you have to do that by the 10th of the month. And by the way, this kit, I haven't even touched my kit this month, but it's got the succulent stuff in it. It is so cute. The stamp set is one of the best we've ever had. Okay, here's a fun thing to tell you. The new All-Star Tutorial Bundle is out and available 78 pages, I believe. I printed it this morning. It's fabulous as always. There's no longer an option to subscribe, but you will get it free with a $50 purchase this month from, from my Stampin' Up! store, okay? Um, what was I gonna say? It's also available to purchase $15. I haven't listed it in my store. I haven't had time today, but it will be there by tonight, okay? And I will um, have that on my blog. If, if you are looking for it, just uh, message me or go to my PDF store, which there's a link at the top of my blog. Um, it's a great one this month. Would you guys like a little sneak peek of my project this month? I'm not supposed to show you. It's supposed to be a secret, so I can only show you for just a second, okay? Look at that ribbon. Okay, that's all I can tell you. That's all I can show you. I try to always make sure my project's a 3D because I know that we usually need tutorials for those things, right? Okay, prizes. How about some prizes? You can earn prizes from me by sharing the video here on Facebook or um, going to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, scrolling down to the bottom of today's post, click clackety clack your information in the little widget and it will randomly draw somebody. So um, that person that was chosen from the raffle copter last week is Susan Little. Susan, I think I have your information, but if you see this before Monday, please send me your, your mailing address. It just makes it faster. Here is the second winner, Marty Grimm. Marty, I don't have your mailing information. So Marty, please message me your mailing information. And then on Tuesday, for Tuesday's video, I said I was going to give away two celebration sets. And Sonia always shares. She's so good about sharing. So Sonia, you're getting both of these. So Sonia, if you will message me your mailing address too, I will get those out to you on Monday. This week I've got two prizes to have and to hold along with a set of blender pens. If you don't have the blender pens, they're wonderful. Okay, so two ways to win. Share the video and go over to my blog clack it clack your information, and I will pick a name from there randomly, okay? All right, we're almost ready to stamp. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always do three projects, and I always try to pick a theme. Um, and this week we're doing the new celebration coordination items. On my blog right now, pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find this PDF under the last photo, okay? It's linked, it has all the product information, measurements that you'll need for the three projects, as well as information about my classes and other things. Um, the host code is right here and right here, and you'll see it when I turn the camera around. If you place an order between now and Monday at midnight, you'll get today's projects for free. Here's last week's, I mailed them out like this, and I usually mail them on Wednesday. So if you want these projects uh, for free, Put your order in using the host code by Monday at midnight, all right? All right, now I also did not tell you about my classes to go. They are ready, they are listed. Um, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and just um, show you real quick. There are videos already available. Close your eyes, guys, because I'm gonna make it kind of wobbly for a second. There are videos on both of these classes so you can get the full details on them. Um, but I know many of you have been waiting for that Garage Gears class, and it is ready. It's listed. The PDF with the video tutorial that's included is already up on my PDF store. And let's get this centered. My um, iPad went off, so now I can't even see. Um, 
here's the garage gears, guys. It's awesome, if I do say so myself. It's really cute. Um, you're gonna get paper, you're gonna get ribbon, you're gonna get embellishments. You have the option of getting the bundle. There are, let's see if I can remember, three 3D items, three cards, and a gift card holder as well as a almost 30 minute technique video um, that will show you how to do some of the techniques and how to make the projects, okay? Deadline for that is March 25th. They will mail on April 1st. Then the other class is the Fable Friends class, which we've been talking about. Um, Gingham Gala, you'll get a pack of that, which by the way is on low inventory. Just to let you know, you need to sign up. And uh, March 15th is the deadline. It'll ship March 22nd. So here is all of it. You can see the video for all the details, okay? You will find that linked at the bottom of today's blog post. All right, let's talk about today. Darn it, I wanna be able to see your comments better. Let me just take a second to pull this up. I hate to make you guys wait, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. All right, okay, now I can see that this is crooked, so you guys know I have to fix it until it's right. <laughs> <laughs> my camera today I recorded clean recordings a little bit further down okay I recorded clean recordings of today's videos today's projects already and when I was done I noticed my camera was kind of I don't know off kilter crooked it drives me crazy but I was not going to re-record all of them all right I think we're ready so here oh no my bow it's gone all right, well, you'll see it in a second. Three projects today. We're gonna to use these awesome new celebration coordination products. Remember that these are only available until the end of the month, March 31st. So if you like anything that we're using today, remember that they are only available through the end of the month. So you've got to get them before March 31st. Look, I have a countdown for us. Only 30 days, not counting today until celebration is over. That means that our time of getting free stuff will be over. So we've got to make sure that we are taking full advantage of that. Okay, so here's the one with the bow. Super cute, right? Look, the new punch, the new stamps, the new framelits. Um, inside, you know I always look for fun stuff to go inside. Inside is a hostess birthday cupcake. Let me show you the box. Now, Little Debbie has a Little Debbie finder on their website. I don't know if Hostess does or not, you guys, um, but I found them at Walmart. That's what they look like. Super cute, right? We've got some yummy stuff in the middle, yummy. Okay, so these would make great party favors. Let's see, I gotta get organized. I am not organized, I've got stuff everywhere. These would make great party favors or, you know, a treat maybe, you know, when I was teaching, we would do, we would celebrate everybody's birthday, um, once a month, at the beginning of the month, they would put out a list of whose birthday it was. So that would be fun to make a bunch of those for everybody at the beginning of the month, right? I think so. Okay, so here are the new framelits. These are the Call Me Cupcake framelits, and they coordinate with this set, which was free, which has been free since January 3rd, maybe? Um, and we've been loving them. I spent a whole Facebook Friday on this, remember, and we fussy cut everything because we didn't know we were getting framelits. So now those projects we can make without having to fussy cut. We can actually use these framelits. And this, which I was having a little discussion on Tuesday, I have no idea how to say the fancy word, so we're gonna call it cake dome. Those of you who are with me on Tuesday know that I have no idea how to say that. The other uh, product we're using is the More Than Words. We're gonna use this one. Today calls for something sweet. So I guess that isn't necessarily a birthday saying. So if you wanted to use the cupcake without the birthday sayings in the cupcake set, you could use that, right? Okay, let's make the bottom of the box. Now where's my PDF? Remember guys, right here, on that PDF over at my blog, down here at the bottom. All this is right here for you, okay? So we're gonna start with a piece of Bermuda Bay that is eight by eight, and we're gonna score all four sides at two and a half, okay? Then this delicious, how sweet it is, designer series paper is six by six. So then you're gonna score it at one and a half all the way around on all four sides. This is my favorite print, guys. I'm having a hard time letting go of it, sending it to those of you who put your orders in. 
I'm going to be very sad to see it go. But we can't just let our paper live in our paper ho uh, holders, right? We got to use it. You could use any of the papers in this pack. They would be great. But this um, rainbow just screams birthdays to me. Okay, thanks for sharing, Kathy and Mary. All of you have shared. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so now I've done all the scoring. I've burnished those lines. Let's see. We're going to cut from the bottom score line to the, well, on each. Why can't I find my words today? From corner to corner. That's what we're doing. From the bottom of that score line to the bottom of that score line. We're cutting off the corners. All right. Now we're going to go down here and snip, snip like that. Flip it to the other side and snip, snip. I feel like I haven't done a very good job. I feel like I'm rushing now. It's funny how when you lose your internet, your, uh-oh, no, no adhesive. Where did it go? When you lose your internet at the beginning of Facebook Friday, it freaks you out. Why can't I find my, um, oh, good grief. There it is. I was planning next week's projects before we went live today. Um, and that's where it was. It was under some paper. They're going to be very cute next week. Next week we are spring. We are thinking of spring next week. So I think you'll like it. All right. So I put adhesive on those triangles and basically I fold in the triangles like that and fold up that. Sarah, I love my scoreboard too. My, uh, where are my words today? Where are my words? What is wrong with me? I need a nap. My Simply Scored. It is our scoreboard, Stampin' Up! scoreboard. And our Stampin' Up! trimmer um, will score for you, and it's great. But I just love that uh, scoring tool to have it there in front of you, and I feel like it's a little more flexible. You can do um, a little bit more with it. All right, so the box bottom, you guys, we're gonna do exactly the same. Corner to corner on these squares, like this, like this, sometimes I use a shim when I'm making a box like that, this, you guys have seen that, I didn't use a shim this time because the when you use a thin designer series paper there, it's very, um, it's much more, what's the word? Flexible, pliable, bendable. Why isn't that sticking? Come on. And so I feel like I don't necessarily need a shim. My goodness, we are struggling today. Well, you know what? Double the adhesive. Double the adhesive. Downhill from here, you guys. Three months left till summer. I like summer vacation trips. I just don't like trying to work and entertain my kids at the same time. I don't know, they like to be entertained. They like to do things. All right, did you see how that, that works like that? And then if it's a little bit tight, I just push that in a little bit and the top goes right on. All right, so there's our cupcake box. Now let's make the cute, cute cupcake itself. I'm using bright and cheery colors. We're gonna start with Melon Mambo. Um, Darlene, I'm seeing, she's saying, why doesn't Stampin' Up! have the big scissors anymore? These right here, I do not know, my friend, because they are awesome and I use mine 20 times a day at least. Um, they discontinued, you know, they discontinue things that aren't selling well. So they must have not been selling very well. Pineapple Punch on Pineapple Punch cardstock. And we need to do the little, the little heart pick right there in Coastal Cabana. Oh, I'm gonna leave that open. All right, now we are gonna use several framelits. We're gonna use the cupcake paper. Let's see, let me get this over here. Yeah, I know everybody loved the big scissors. You know what I think, you guys? This is this is me. Just this is just my, you know, ramblings, what I think. 
the scissors were pricey. Um, I think they were like $30. And when you have a budget, you don't want to buy scissors, right? You want to buy stamps and cute things. Um, I don't want to spend my, my fun money on adhesive, right? You don't want to buy adhesive or white paper, but those are so essential and same with the scissors. So I think that's probably why they weren't great sellers because if someone had $30 to spend, they probably didn't want to spend it on scissors. It was worth it. We all know that, but you know, we'd rather have stamps. Now I've added all these, look at this one right here, these tiny little hearts. They're so cute. So we're gonna use those two. And I've got them all lined up and run it through. Oh no, my cupcake, my um, cupcake paper slipped at the same time my tray is falling off the table. Let's look and see, we may need to redo the cupcake paper, the cupcake bottom. Oh no, it didn't. Ah, oh, my eyes deceived me, it's absolutely perfect. All right, now, if my friend Sue is watching me, Sue, I'm putting my framelits back. I'm not gonna lose those little framelits. Not gonna do it. All right, here's the cupcake. Now, you guys, next week, I have something planned with this that is not a cupcake. So you've gotta come back on Tuesday, okay? My friend Kay, I, I don't think she's watching, but she, she was my sounding board this week for something I had in mind and we had a little discussion about it. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it'll be funny if it does. Yeah, it's gonna work. We're gonna do it, I promise. So you'll have to come back on Tuesday and see <laughs> what it is. Okay, so I have got a large Whisper White scallop circle, and I um, cut some more of that How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper with the largest stitched circle framelit. I'm gonna add the bottom of my cupcake right here with a dimensional. And then the top of my cupcake, I'm gonna put it up as high as it'll go like that. See how I'm leaving that space? Because we're gonna put that banner across there and we want to make sure that we can still see the cupcake. If you put the cupcake all the way on the paper, the banner will cover up most of that cupcake. Where do you get your magnet boards from? Those are from Stampin' Storage. You can, there's lots of things out there, you guys, um, that are similar. So Google it. Um, I know there's things on Amazon. People are using things from the hardware store, but I got mine from Stampin' Storage. They're very sturdy and they're very good. Okay, now I have, look how tiny these hearts are over here. Can you guys see them? They're so tiny. I've gotta make sure I don't lose those. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Coastal Cabana on Whisper White. And here's that beautiful story label punch. This punch is new and it is fabulous. Look how big it is. Usually shapes this big are framelits. And this one is a punch, which makes me very excited because the lazy stamper in me doesn't wanna get up. I just wanna use a punch sometimes, right? Am I right, you guys? Come on, we all like a punch. Now, I'm gonna have to use my fine tip glue pen so everybody say a little prayer that I don't make a giant mess. All right, I'm gonna put, oh, you guys, it didn't work. Big giant bubble, hold on. I have a brand new, my fine tip glue pen is almost out. So, I have a brand new one that I need to just start using because this guy, <laughs> he's on his last leg. One, two, three tiny dots. Don't squeeze your glue or you'll have the same problem I just did. Okay, now these guys are so tiny, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool, set them down into that glue. They're upside down. All right, you guys like when I mess up, right? That's what all the hearts are for. <laughs> I'm a real girl, I'm just like you guys. I screw up a lot. I'm just a regular girl. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna use a tip of my Take Your Pick tool. And if you guys haven't gotten, if I haven't convinced you to add this Take Your Pick tool on to your orders yet, then I am not doing my job. You need this, it's so amazing. It really is just like your, 
I don't know, your best friend, really, when you're crafting. It can poke, it can scrape, it can pick up things. It's awesome. All right, right there in the middle. So cute, you guys, look at that. You know what, there's something else that this punch does. I don't know if I have enough paper, but if you put paper across the middle right here, let's see, let me grab a skinny white. I haven't used it like this yet, but I'm going to. If you take a skinny white, look like this, and put it across the middle, look at that. That's awesome, you know, like, what I should have done is punched it in a different color, then put that one there. Oh, it's like two punches in one. Story label punch, brand new. Add it to your order. You gotta do it. Okay, we're almost done. I feel like this project took three times as long as it needed to take. My last project today is gonna take a little bit longer, so I really do need to get to it. All right, dimensionals. Gotta have some ribbon. Does the putty last a while on the tool? You know what, Nicole? I have yet to have to replace mine. I've ordered the replacements because I know it's coming, but I have not replaced my, my putty yet. So yes, I would say it lasts a really long time because I use mine several times a day. And um, yeah, and you know what? You don't have to take the putty off every time you use it. I just keep, you know, like balling it up there until it's not sticky anymore. All right, you guys, there's that gorgeous ribbon that Bermuda, no, not Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green on, on either side. What do you guys think? It's so cute, isn't it? Those cupcake framelits. Just wait till you see my last project. Just wait. They are a must have. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I like hearts. Thank you. All right, let's, let's move over. I'm going to move these out of the way. Let me get my second tray and we'll do our second project. We're gonna shift gears this time and use the frog, the new frog framelits. And I can't remember their names. They have a good name. Remember on Tuesday I was saying the lily framelits are called lily framelits, but the other ones have cute names. Where is it? Hop around framelits. The hop around, so cute. You've got a framelit for each frog. You've got the gift, the dragonfly, and the three flies, as well as my favorite part, the lily pad. All right, so let's see. Let me show you what we're gonna make. I actually made something similar to this for my stamp club to go last month. You open it up and it's a post-it note holder. And you can, you know those little calendars that I do? You could even put a little calendar here and just keep that in your purse. Isn't that cute? Keep it in a drawer at your office, give it to a friend. I'm using that new stamp set too called More Than Words. And it says, leaping for joy is easy to do when I have a friend as amazing as you. Aw, cute. Good friend gift that doesn't cause you to gain weight. It's no sugar. It's a good one. All right, now, you might have noticed the magnets right here. I have been using these magnets for 100 years in my crafting and scrapbooking. They look like this. They are on Amazon. They're not cheap but they are awesome. And you'll see in a minute, they have adhesive on them. So they are really, really good. Okay, and the link will be there on my blog. It's already there. Under that photo, you can find it for those magnets. You're gonna need a piece of pool party that is three and a fourth by nine. We're gonna score the long side at two and a half, three, six and an eighth. Now, an eighth is just one tick mark over and six and five eighths. Five tick marks over from six. All right. Now, you guys, I just put my Simply Scored in my chair if I can't find it in a little while. Please remind me where it is because I will forget. All right, let's burnish those lines. And we're gonna put a, this is a three by three note, uh, sticky note pad right in the middle like that. And you see how that works? Just like that. Now the designer series paper that I'm using is a celebration item. It is that um, Painted Seasons DSP. And I see that I left the number off of our PDF. That's because it's, I didn't know what it was until we had it this morning. So it's there and you'll be able to find it as a celebration item. Notice these pieces, um, one is bigger than the other. That's because the front little panel is a slight 
smidge bigger than the bottom. And so we put that paper there and this paper here. And yes, these measurements are on the PDF. All right, now let's do the magnets. So the magnets, you'll see they're labeled plus and minus and they stick so well that sometimes I have a hard time. They'll flip over into the other little channel and they'll stick to each other and I have a hard time getting them out of that plastic. I have been using these for probably, I don't know, maybe 10 years. All right, I'm gonna, they're stuck together and I removed the, removed the adhesive from the bottom one and I'm gonna make sure that my post-it note holder is square. I want it all nice and square there. I'm gonna make sure it's straight when I close it. Peel off that adhesive there. Get it exactly where I want it. Make sure it's right and then press down. All right, and then there you have it. Isn't that nice? I'm telling you, these magnets are fantastic. Okay, let's make our cute little frog. We are using the little guy who is sitting down because he's going to be on a lily pad. Memento black, and we're also going to do the little flies. Memento black. And we're gonna color him with Call Me Clover. Call Me Clover is a Kelly Green, and it's a good one for a frog, I think. Just a good Kelly Green. And I'm gonna color the whole thing in with light Call Me Clover. This is a stamp and blend, it's our alcohol marker and it's gonna make you look like you're a professional colorer because there will be no marker streaks and it's beautiful. My, I think I told you guys, my littlest one had a project. What was she, oh I know, she was doing an art contest for school and she needed, she could only use four colors and she needed some good markers. Hers were kind of, you know, you know how the Crayola markers get. And so I said, okay, you can use mommy's markers, but you better be careful with them. <laughs> and she was great with them, but she kept saying, mommy, these markers are amazing. And so I think she might be needing to get a set of stamp and blends too. Now I'm gonna add some dark color here around and under his mouth right there and down at the bottom of his leg with a dark. I'm gonna go back with the light and just pull that color down and blend it all together. All right, now these little flies probably don't need a color, but I like to add a little bit of yellow to them, little pineapple punch, and we're ready to cut. Now, when we cut this out, we're gonna cut several things out. We are gonna cut out this lily pad. We're gonna cut out the frog. And um, the PDF, Kathy Stamp, um, not Stampin', uh, pinkbuckaroo.com. And it's the post that you'll find up today. And um, under the last photo, you will find a big blue link there that will give you the PDF. And I will, as soon as I'm done with the video, I will add a direct link to that post, okay? All right, now we've got the lily pad. The other thing we're gonna do are these little flowers. Paula, yes, the uh, magnets are on Amazon. I've also linked those on my blog. You guys, I work really hard on that blog to make sure everything is there for you. Always hop over to the blog to find it, pinkbuckaroo.com. Most everything that you ask for is already there. Takes me quite a bit of time to prepare for Facebook Fridays, you guys. I take it very seriously. I want you to have everything that you need and um, just know that it's there. All right, so we've used our framelits. Let me put them back so I don't lose them. This set of framelits comes with two of these, the little flowers, which is great. I love when they double up on those so we don't have to cut twice. All right, let's piece all this together. Nope, you know what? Let's do our sentiment stamps first. Two little strips of Whisper White, Memento Black, Leaping for Joy is easy to do when I have a friend as amazing as you. All right, now we're ready to piece it all together. 
All right, let's start with, I keep losing my dimensionals. The lily pad and the frog. Good, Robin, I'm glad that the timing is perfect for you. I love when that happens. All right, the sentiments, I'm gonna put it right here. Notice how I left it long and I'm just going to open it up, trim it off. Now this one is gonna go on the inside. Don't lose my flies, I know. <laughs> Who said that? Where did it go? Um, Denise knows me well. Denise is my friend locally here. Yes, Denise, I, I know. I'm keeping my eye on them. Hopefully they won't go away. They won't fly away. They're easy to lose, they're tiny, too tiny, tiny, tiny but that's what makes them so cute. All right, I put that flower there with a glue dot and I'm gonna put this one in front of it down a little bit and with a mini dimensional so it has some dimension. All right, cross your fingers, here we go with my, <laughs> oh, okay, I think that was a good one. This fine tip glue pen needs to retire. All right, so I again have used that and I probably should give it time to dry, but I'm gonna flip it open. I probably should have done the ones inside first, huh? Let's add a couple of them in here. They're buzzing around like that and done. How fun. You know, you could do this with any size post-it note. You just adjust the sizes, sizes of your paper, your cardstock. And there we go. Cute, cute. You know what? Let me show you what I did for my stamp club. I haven't posted it at all. There's used this butterfly that I can't even think of the name of right now. And look, a little note. That's a really good sentiment for this. And theirs was yellow. And see, there's that calendar. Very cute. I'll post that too next week, maybe on my blog. All right. Thanks for the hearts. You guys are so good to me. I appreciate it so supportive and encouraging. I really do. I really do mean that you guys. It does keep us going to hear such sweet comments all the time and to have support like that. Okay, last project, last project. I need to kind of clean up a little bit because it's kind of a mess here. Put everything back. I'm trying to stay organized, but I'm sure you guys can understand. Once you start crafting, things get a little crazy. All right, and I need a drink of water. I'm still doing good without my Diet Coke. And I will say, it would be a bold-faced lie for me to tell you that I'm not drinking Diet Coke at all. But I'm drinking way less. So you guys should be proud of me. Lots of water. Okay, here we go. This is my favorite project. This is a Dutch door. Um, you know, the, the doors where it's half, you know, it's two doors and you can open up the, the front half. That's why it's called that. And inside it holds a gift card. Look at this. This is that cake dome that we won't even attempt to say the fancy word. Um, and inside is a bunch of hearts. So really the only stamps we're using are the, this sentiment is from the actual cupcake stamp set. And then the other two are from the one that coordinates with it, which is this one, More Than Words. We're using wishes and birthday. Okay, I'm glad you guys like it, thank you. Let's get started. We're gonna start making, we're gonna make the cupcake, Um, no, the cake dome first. And let me tell you what we need. You're gonna need two pieces of vellum all right, where did my framelits go? Did I really put them back? I did, I just walked them back over here. Okay, so two pieces of uh, vellum. Now these hearts, this is from the Be Mine Stitched Framelits, and we're gonna use all these little hearts. So you guys are gonna sit here and listen to me chit chat with you while I peel off the adhesive off each of these hearts, all right? <laughs> and if you think that's crazy, I apologize but that's the best way to do it, I'm telling you, because then, look, there's no adhesive showing on the back. So smart. So this is the multi-purpose adhesive sheet. You've seen me use this many times. It's wonderful, and if you haven't added it to your order, you need to do it. 
It lasts a long time. It turns anything into a sticker. All right, so put it in there, cover it back up, and cut, cut the paper out around it. That way you're keeping the rest of your adhesive intact and you can use it for other projects, which I, this is the third time I've used this sheet, see? And I've still got quite a bit left. All right, so you take that off and now our flirty flamingo piece is a sticker. We're gonna cut those hearts out of there. We're also going to cut out this cake stand, okay? All right, let's get the big boy back over here. Move that. Move all of that. Bring this. And let's line it all up. All right, hearts are going to go here on the flirty flamingo. We're going to cut the cake stand. Actually, let's move these over. Am I even in the frame? I can't even see. Um, uh, cake stand out of silver foil. All right, and then the cake dome, two of them from vellum. Thanks, guys. Oh, Cecilia, that's so sweet. Uh-oh, look what I did. I'm looking at your comments, and I didn't even make sure that was lined up. Okay. I need to have an assistant who reads comments while I... <laughs> you know what? Before I take that out, let's run that back through one more time because those hearts, that's an intricate die and it has a layer of adhesive underneath, so it's thicker. Betty, I do like lemon, yes, and I have been adding lots of things. I have found some, um, if you guys have heard of the True Lemon Little Packets with uh, sparkling water, very good. My friend Kay, who I mentioned earlier, drinks LaCroix water, and I've always been like, oh, that's so gross, but guess what I've been drinking? LaCroix water, but I put flavoring in it. I'm not as good as she is. Okay, now, we're gonna poke all these out, and you can use your dye brush, and I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool real quick, and we've got all these teeny tiny little stickers, right? Look at all of them. Then you've got this other piece that you can save for another project. Or you could even put it on the inside. I didn't even think about that. Now, the cake dome, I cut down. I trimmed it down. Let me get my trimmer. Because it was a little bit too tall for my card. Um, it was. I didn't like how much room it took on the card. So I'm cutting off just about half an inch. And let's see. Where's my original? It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You just want to shorten it. A little bit okay see how I felt like that was just too big I wanted it smaller so I'm cutting it off you know what I think I'm gonna cut let me see let me see let's do no I think that's okay I'm overthinking it move on an eighth of an inch is not gonna make a difference Erica okay <laughs> I know I have no overthinkers watching today right all right so now we're gonna take our hearts and we're gonna peel off that backing and we're just gonna start layering them down. And um, yes, this is gonna take me like a minute and a half, you guys. So you're just gonna to have to be patient. I have to tell you a funny story about my daughter, my little one. She's complaining that her ear hurt. I don't think I've told you guys this story. Last week, she kept complaining that her ear hurt. And my kids um, relatively, you know, don't complain about much hurting they don't get well you know what I don't I'm not gonna say that because you know what happens anyways I kept putting her off putting her off you're fine you're fine your ears fine you're fine you're fine because I'm she's the third kid so you know <laughs> you know what happens with the third kid yeah put a put a ice pack on it yeah get a wet paper towel you're fine but she kept complaining about it like three days and I thought and then she said I was doing her hair and she said ouch that hurt my ear and I thought uh oh all right it's time to be a mom take her to the doctor so I made an appointment at our minute clinic in CVS do you guys have that it's so nice so anyway I took her in on Friday girlfriend has swimmer's ear in the middle of February swimmer's ear how do you get swimmer's ear in the middle of February well Addie my third child She's 10 and she loves to take baths and she takes long, luxurious baths every night. That's how she got swimmer's ear. 
<laughs> I said, girl, you're the only person I know who gets swimmer's ear in the middle of winter. Little stinker. So now she, I keep, and I've been telling her, you need to take showers. Hurry up. Get it done. Stop lounging around in the bathtub for an hour. <sighs> She's something else. She's our funny kid. She's really um, just funny and uh, you know, very different from the other two. The baby of the family. She's a little bit of a wild child. Swimmer's ear in February, making me take her to the doctor in the middle of flu season, getting exposed to all the flu yuckiness. And then I had to stand, <laughs> I had to stand in line at the pharmacy for 20 minutes because that's how long the line was. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't want to breathe. Please don't let me get sick. Okay, there we go. Now, I have four little hearts left because we're going to do something with those in a minute. See how cute that is? Um, let's get a glue dot because I'm avoiding the fine tip glue pen. I'm going to have to use it in a minute. And I'm going to adhere this one right there, okay, on top to hold it together. Then I'm going to get another one and just stick it down here at the bottom like that okay there we go now I really do have to use the fine tip glue pen right here so come on buddy don't don't die on me now it's working very hard just little dots come on just little dots there we go perfect all right we're gonna put that right across there hi Sam Ashley, you're the third child. Yeah, there, yeah, I mean, yeah, there is something to say about the third child. She, we're, you know what? We're tired. As parents, we're tired. Just go and do whatever you want. <laughs> not really. Well, uh, not really. I mean, obviously, but good grief. She's, she, she's a wild free spirit and I love her to death. And we probably give her way too many uh, freedoms that her sisters did not get at her age. All right, two little hearts there. And I think I should have saved three hearts, but we'll make two work. All right, once again, closing up this fine tip glue pen. All right, now for the bow, I'm going to take, do you recognize this? This is a piece of our flax ribbon that I cut off one long edge. And I am pulling out that one fiber and I'm tying a bow. This is a um, little bit different than twine. It's a little more rustic, um, kind of has more texture to it than just regular baker's twine. We'll put that right there. We'll snip this off like that. There we go, so cute. All right, setting those there. We're not done, we're not done. We're just getting started. We've got quite a bit to do. Oh, and I forgot to die cut one thing. Let's do our card. Let's make that that um, Dutch door, all right? Good grief, Erica, clean up after yourself. Things all over the place. Okay, simply scored in my chair, I remembered. Woohoo! You know what? I forgot. Does this, I bet, does that help with the lighting? I had something up there. Oops, I shook the camera. Sorry. Betty, you're eighth out of 12. Your parents are very tired. I'm surprised that you even know how to like have manners and stuff because I think if we had that many kids, they'd be raising themselves. <laughs> okay, this is a half sheet of cardstock cut on the long side, five and a half by eight and a half. I put it down, scored it at four and a fourth. Now I'm gonna turn it and score it at two and a half, stopping right there at that line. The only reason I do that is to know where I'm gonna cut. It's kind of an unnecessary score line, but it just helps me. I don't have to do any measuring over here when I bring it over. I can just put it down, put that score line there in the gutter, and lay my blade down that has a little pointy thing on it. Uh-oh, am I out of the frame? The little pointy thing right there, you can see. Okay, it's right at four and a fourth, and I'll cut right up. And then do it again, right there in the half, the halfway point in the gutter. Put that at three and go up. And let's see, did I go far enough? Yep, I did. There we go. 
All right, that's okay. Okay, so there's our card base. Let's get that folded nicely. All right, now let me bring the big shot over real quick. There's one thing I forgot to cut. Again, I'm using the scalloped, stitched scalloped border. Here it is from the Be Mine Stitched Framelits. I am using this, these framelits in every project, every project. I hope you guys have gotten the Be Mine Stitched Framelits. You know, those were the Valentine ones at the beginning. Can you guys see I'm still out of that frame? Um, I sure hope these carry over simply for this one framelit. I love it so much. Now I wanted this to kind of look like maybe like a tablecloth. So that's why I put the little scallop edge on the bottom. So now let's put that there. All right, right there. And then I got a piece, a half inch piece of flirty flamingo striped designer series paper. That's from the Brights stack. And I made them a little bit longer. Let's trim them off like that. All right, now inside, is a piece of Gingham Gala designer series paper. By the way, it's on low inventory again, you guys. It's so popular. If you want this paper, you need to get it ASAP if it hasn't already gone on back order. Well, I mean, you can still order it when it's on back order, but all right, a little piece of Whisper White here. And let's come up here and put that stamp, the wishes. We're gonna do very, ooh, I gotta remember to show you this too. I set that right there. The wishes, we're going to do, we want it light. We don't want it too dark because we're gonna stamp this on top. So on a, uh oh, look at my little hearts. They're, they're like almost lost. Um, so just on a scrap piece of paper, I'm gonna stamp it or ink it up in balmy blue, stamp it off. Mm, I don't know, I don't like that. Let me do it again. Balmy blue, stamp off and stamp here. This is gonna make it light. Very good. Now, take the birthday in full strength and go right across. See that? So that you can tell, you know, you can see the birthday. It doesn't get, it's not too crazy, too much ink. All right, so now let's open it and do the stamping on the inside. Move all of that. This stamp, this is the one that's from a cupcake, Hello Cupcake stamp set that we've had, right? We've had it. Uh, it's a free celebration item. Carla, that makes me laugh. I know, I keep thinking of all this, how strict we're being with our oldest right now, who is 16, who is having a very hard time remembering that she is not an adult living on her own and that she has rules to follow. <laughs> I keep thinking, What's it gonna be like when Addie is that age? Are we just gonna be like, bye, go do whatever you want? <laughs> I hope not, but goodness. This is a Whisper White Strip um, scallop border. This scallop, another one of my favorites, is from the Seasonal Layers Framelits, and I am putting it on the very bottom, putting a very thin layer of adhesive there so that that gift card can go in there and be hidden behind that door. If you do it too high, your gift card will stick out and then it'll just kind of ruin the whole flow of your card. See how I put that one little heart there? All right, we're almost done. Let's get our many glue dot, no, nope, many dimensionals. And we're gonna load this baby up with about three of them. And put that on. Carla, yeah, pretty much. Uh, already with the second one, we're trying some different things because our teenaging parenting hasn't hasn't uh, turned out quite as well as we thought. It's scary, you guys. It's very hard. Teenagers, I will take dirty diapers any day over this teenager business. All right, how cute. Look, so cute. All right, now we have one heart left. Let's put it down here. So really, I think you need to hold out one, two, three, four, five hearts because I put two on the inside. You could always cut another set of these little hearts. All right, what do you guys think? How stinking cute is that? This is called a Dutch door. 
At least that's how it was described to me, a Dutch door card fold. I mean, I guess you could consider it fancy fold, a simple fancy fold, but it's very cute. Now let me show you another project I did um, when I was trying to get ready for today, last weekend, I was playing around and this was my original design. But I kept thinking, no, there's something else I wanna do. Something's not quite, and then this is what I came up with. I do still love this. You can see I just put it flat on a card front. It's not a Dutch door. And I added a little bit of ink around the edges so that it would kind of pop off. You could really see it. And I cut several of these and stacked them up to make it look like a, a thick, you know, like a thicker cardboard word. Okay, you guys, let's review. Let's look at our projects. We made the Call Me Cupcake Dutch door gift card holder. We made the So Hoppy um post-it note holder the call me cupcake treat box and tuesday's project used some of the other framelits that we didn't use today the um four seasons framelits so remember those things are only available until who knows the answer march 31st i'm trying to pull my flyer out over here and i can't get it March 31st, those things, here they are, that stamp set, the four framelits, and that awesome story label punch. If you buy two of these, you're pretty much gonna be at $50, two framelits at least, all right? And then you get something for free, yay! We all love free. Is Blend on here? If it's free, it's for me. That's our saying around here. All right, you guys. Oh, I'm a little bit over today, a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for finding me when I lost internet. I appreciate it. I will be back live on Tuesday with a fun St. Patrick's Day project that I hope you will like. Um, and then next Friday, also at two o'clock, okay? Make sure you get your orders in using this host code by Monday at midnight if you want your make and takes for free. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Stay warm. Bye-bye.